Hey everyone, I'm back again, and this is the package uh, for 2015 that is the most expensive one I got to date. Um, it cost me around, I think it was like $675. Um, I haven't seen one of these come up for a while. The last one didn't sell and I was kind of iffy on buying one. Um, this is a really, really complicated model kit. It includes an inner frame and also LED lights and just a lot of stuff, a lot of resin to uh, sand and cut. So I'm going to unbox it, unbox it on camera. I haven't seen this before. Uh, I've seen the pictures of the complete model and i also seen the parts for the model kit but I haven't seen the box myself. I really could, should invest myself uh, in a box cutter because it's much easier than a knife to cut open the box. But um, yeah, I should, I should buy one online. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like less than $5. This thing is, this thing's not that good. I mean, it's all around good tool. I mean, it help it helps me on model kit building and everything because it has pliers and everything. But um, this tool is it's, it's okay. It's not that bad. It's not not great. But it's a pretty uh, well built tool. Um, this was stuck in customs for one week. And I was scared that I'll be paying custom fees on this. Um, the reason why, because it's made out of resin. It has a different kind of color resin in it. And different kind of, uh, probably different kind of materials in it too. It have electronic parts. And I was really scared that I will need to pay custom fees. Because it's going to cost a lot. I mean... If he didn't declare it as gift or anything like that, uh, I'll be paying a lot, a lot of money. So let me open this box. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can just open it up and take it out so you guys can see it. Uh, this is going to open up the box. I need to flip it over. This is a really rare kit, I, a really rare uh, model, a really rare uh, rare find for me, and I really like to find stuff like this. Um, I rarely see this come up, so I'm really happy that I got it. Just hope it doesn't fall. Oh, it didn't fall. So I'm unboxing it on camera so you guys can see it. Um, I'll show you what it is. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. It's the Penelope RX. 104, I think it's SS or EE or something like that. Um, it's made by a company called G System. And this is one of my favorite designs uh, in Gundam. And I have never seen a model kit made uh, for, this, for this kind of design. Uh, this is a company, uh, G System. They are a Hong Kong based company. And the one thing I don't like about G System, the only thing I really don't like is that they are unlicensed. That means that they don't pay a license to the Japanese creator of Gundam to make their kits. Um, they probably name it a little different, but it'll look like the similar designs of the Gundam creator, uh, the created Penelope. But they don't give licensing fees to 
these people that uh, created Gundam. It's not mass produced. Uh, this is a resin model kit, and it's kind of hard to uh, it's kind of hard to say if it's good or bad because these items are just unlicensed. Um, but this is a really, really, really good looking kit. Um, just look at the back. It's a huge kit. The box is big. We'll open it up on camera. to show you guys what I got. There's a lot of protection. Foam protection. Look at the decal sheet. It was huge. Big decal sheet. Um, by looking at the decal, uh, let me zoom in. Very high quality. I'm just going to do an unboxing now. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here's the instruction book. And some pictures. Pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can look at the resin. And I'll show you how the resin looks like. It comes in bags. Uh, it's all labeled. Everything is labeled. There's tons and tons of parts. Um, let me tilt the camera up so you guys can see it. Just tons and tons of parts. This is the V fin, and probably from the size of the V fin, you probably see how big this kit is. This is a huge kit. A lot of work needs to be done, a lot of parts. I love a lot. I love this. I just love this kit. It's gonna take probably a year to build uh, for me and my work schedule and everything like that. A lot of time will be dedicated for this kit. Yeah, and I'll probably like it a lot. Tons and tons of detail everywhere. Let's look at the details. This is just an awesome kit. The good thing about it is it's a big kit and um, that's what I like about it. I probably can't show you all the parts because it's all boxed up and all laid down and resin looks pretty much like resin. Um, hopefully I can get a, uh, a camera that can mount on the top so I can view directly toward uh, the model so you guys can see from the top view instead of the side view but uh, this model is just huge and I, I like that a lot also comes with an inner frame which is really cool we'll put everything in there hope I did decal sheet instructions yeah they're all there Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. And um, if you do find this uh, model kit, uh, yeah, buy one because uh, this one is a one of kind design and it is not made from uh, it's not made from Bandai or anything like that. It's made from a Hong Kong based company called G System. If you're not really familiar with uh, their your models, uh, please uh, leave a comment um, and I'll answer them accordingly. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of this, this awesome kit. And I'll see you guys next time for the next review. Bye guys.